Hey everybody, it's Matt again from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to another Top 10 Tuesday. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing my Top 10 Favorite Irish Horror Films. Yes, majority of these all, actually I think all of them take place in Ireland, which is pretty cool. Excuse me. So yeah, Ireland's got some really cool uh, films going through. Uh, very, they do well, they do their research, they do, they make things a lot of eerie, they make things interesting. Um, some really good flicks. And now there's a couple I'm missing for sure, but out of my top 10, I think these are pretty well, uh, well-rounded Irish films. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Number 10 is, uh, Shrooms. Uh, Shrooms is a cool, like, slasher type film. Uh, a bunch of kids go out into the wilderness and they said, you know, we want to eat this particular shroom. And of course, they eat the wrong one and start hallucinating, and someone or something is taking them out one at a time. When you're watching the film, it's actually, you kind of figure out what's going on. Uh, but overall, it was very entertaining. It was a fun watch. I highly recommend uh, this to own. It's a cool little flick. Shrooms. Number nine. Oh, let me switch one out here. I uh, I just watched last night for the first time, I really enjoyed it because some of my Irish films were kind of lacking, so I want to at least get 10. <laughs> and that is called Wakewood. Uh, Wakewood is kind of a take on Pet Cemetery, which is kind of neat. And I like the scenery of it. The, the uh, ceremony that they did was pretty cool. Pretty much this couple loses their little girl to a vicious dog attack. The dog just tears her apart. And like, it's been some amount of time they moved to Wakewood, which is a small town in Ireland. Come to find out they do this pagan ritual to bring the dead back to life for three days. After three days, they have to put the body back. Well, when they decide to do their little girl, something goes wrong with the little girl. And uh, pretty much is they don't obey the rules as much as they should. And... Uh, <laughs> got some good kills to it some good blood gore to it not insanely gory but uh some good kills so this is a pretty cool killer kid flick too if you want to throw it as a killer kid movie uh other than that uh the cinematography is pretty neat the the eeriness is pretty cool like i said i like the pagan ritual what they do and how they bring the dead back to life is pretty neat uh pretty cool flick guys i recommend checking out wakewood it's a hammer film too which i did not realize it was Number eight is called Dead Meat. Uh, Fangoria Gorzone presents this. It's a zombie film in Ireland. It has to deal with uh, pretty much like a mad cow disease, which is pretty cool. Uh, this, mag, this cow gets a disease, bites the farmer, and of course the farmer is now infected, and now this disease starts spreading through this small town. Uh, meanwhile, this couple's out vacationing, and of course they're in the midst of the craziness and of course when her husband gets taken out and now she has to survive the area a bunch of different characters are introduced uh, very low budget film but it was actually well made uh, I forgot what year this was but this is a definitely must own if you're into uh, zombie films and everything uh, this is 2005 and uh, it's got a cool little documentary not like a a yeah, little documentary called Mad Cows and Zombies. It's pretty much the making of it. What they had to go through to make this movie. A lot of the townsfolk were involved. Uh, pretty much the whole town became uh, cameos in this movie. It was a lot of fun, guys. Check out Dead Meat. Number eight. Number seven. This one shocked me, which was pretty good. And that is called Isolation. This one happens to be a mutant killer cow movie. Yes. Another cow type movie. But they were uh, a family, they're kind of like uh, veterinarians. They're working on their farm, inter introducing this new uh, genetics into the, the cow. And of course, when the cow gives birth, it gives birth to this deformed like fetus. And of course, uh, it goes around killing people. Like, you don't see this gigantic, huge, weird cow going around munching on people, but it's got some cool death scenes. Uh, it's got some infection issues to it as well, which is kind of neat. Uh, it's got some good practical effects. Uh, pretty cool flick for... I never knew this movie existed. And uh, I did some research a while back, 
and loved it. I bought this a long time ago, so I'm glad I did. So I highly recommend checking out Isolation, guys. They're stuck on this farm with a mutant killer cow. And don't let this artwork fool you. This is actually part of the artwork. It's actually supposed to look like all shredded. <laughs> all right. Six. Uh, pretty cool vampire film. Uh, From the Dark. Uh, two couple, uh, couples vacationing through Ireland. And uh, at the same time, this guy, I think it was a mud layer, make, digs up a corpse out of this weird mud. He was making bricks. Comes to find out it's a vampire. And this vampire now is added to the couple. And of course, they're trying to escape this creature from the night. And of course, they're nighttime and everything. They're stuck in these little towns trying to escape. It's a pretty cool flick. Uh, I like the eeriness of this one as well. When they play the vampire, what it looks like. Um, you can, it, a lot of stuff happens off screen too, which is kind of neat. I don't want to get certain things away because I don't want to ruin it, but uh, light definitely plays a factor in this movie. Uh, pretty cool uh, dark film. Yes, from the dark, cool vampire flick. Five is Stitches. <laughs> uh, Ross Noble, I guess, is a comedian, but he he plays killer clown in the Stitches. Uh, he was a child entertainer that was killed accidentally during a child's party. Now he comes back to seek his revenge on the now teens hosting this party. Oh my God, this movie is just cheesy good. Uh, good sla good slasher. Uh, it's like a supernatural slasher. Uh, some very good kills. Um, some funny moments. But again, Stitches must own. Number four is The Hollow. This is an IFC by Scream Factory. Now, usually with Scream Factory, they have some IFCs that are not the greatest. But they have some good uh, diamonds in the rough. And this one happens to be a good diamond. Uh, family moves to Ireland. And... Uh, the guy is like a tree doctor. He's out in the woods inspecting the trees. And they told him, you don't want to go into the hollow, which is part of the forest. Uh, there's fairies slash sprites out there that are not too happy with strangers. And of course, he doesn't pay attention. And of course, he's fighting this weird black goo everywhere. And things start happening around the house, like things go missing. Some mischievous little things are happening. But then the sprites, fairies get even angrier and evil well done I was blown out of the water with this film this movie was fantastic now when you think of fairy or sprite you're like oh a little girl with fairies no these are the woodland uh, fairies kind of like wood creatures wood elementals I don't know what you want to call them and they're evil they are very mischievous uh, they are they leave this weird black goo behind which is actually part of them which is really neat cool transformations and everything uh, if you're kind of eerie, weary on it, definitely grab the hollow, guys. This one is fantastic. Number three. It was a new one I bought. So again, cause I heard this was really good from 2015. And after I watched it, I was blown away. And that is uh, Let Us Pray. Well, very cool take. Uh, the stranger comes to the town, gets into an accident, but somehow is nowhere to be found. Pretty much you got some pretty bad cops and some of the prisoners in the jail. Well, this guy shows up, the one that was in the accident, they named him Six because they put him in a in room six from the jail, so they don't know his name. Well, supernatural things start to happen. This guy can pretty much dive deep into the darkness of you and find your your bad things. And of course, all these people are pretty bad except for this rookie cop. She is spent from a battered, abused, uh, kind of like a kidnapping kind of deal. She was kidnapped, raped, and uh, sexually assaulted and everything, so she becomes a cop. Well, everyone in this small town in this group is pretty bad. The doctor's bad. The two other, the three other cops are pretty bad. Wow. So it's really cool how this supernatural uh, flick is done. Good special effects, good practical, uh, some good gore. Uh, I like this one a lot, so this was definitely a must-own. Let us pray. 
Number two, go figure. It's a creature feature. I freaking love this movie. I don't know how many times I've watched it. And that is Grabbers. <laughs> Only the Irish could do a, uh, a monster film where you have to be drunk to be poisonous to these creatures. These aliens come from out of, out of space. Uh, they love water. And of course, in Ireland, it always rains. So, but they also big blood drinkers. Well, if you get your blood alcohol to a high level, you become toxic to these creatures. So to be safe, you have to be drunk. <laughs> Classic. I love it. Uh, the monster is done really well. It's got a very Tremors vibe to it. Um, tentacles all over the place. There's even like a scene where the baby creatures are in a bar. Kind of reminds you of Gremlins when the Gremlins are in the bar destroying the place. Very similar, but very, very fun film. Love it. I constantly watch this movie a lot. So what could beat that? My number one, which needs an official release in the US. There are other releases out there, but I have a bootleg from 1987, and that is Rawhead Rex. Uh, pretty much take on the Irish demon folklore fantastic film. Clive Barker did this. I guess it's not his favorite. Uh, I guess he was kicked off the set while this was work in progress. You can tell it's doing a suit. Like The special effects were done well, but this movie was fantastic. I love it. Good gore, good kills, good storyline. Everything was just fun about it. Like I could see this get like a Scream Factory release, but I doubt it very much. Like a collector's edition. But again, Fun film, I love it. I wish it had. It does have a U.S. release, but it's out of print, and it goes for an insane amount of money. So I'm stuck with a five dollar bootleg, which I'm happy. <laughs> so yeah, Rawhead Rex at number one. So we'll do a quick little recap. One is Rawhead Rex for Irish horror. Two is Grabbers, love it. Three, Let Us Pray, awesome. Four is The Hollow, not a great film. Well, they're all great. Five is Stitches. Is everybody happy? Uh, six is From the Dark. Seven, Isolation. Eight, Dead Meat. Nine is Wakewood. And ten is Shrooms. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my Top Ten Tuesday. Let me know what you, in the comments down below your thoughts. Please like and subscribe. All right, guys, have yourself a good one. Later. Peace.